Hey there, Amanda, ASAP Network. Um, this video is for the Shopify owners. Um, I just got an email from one of the um, receivers, the dealers on ASAP, and it was in response to the video on separating multiple values on the images. Um, and so what he explained to me was that was great, but not enough. Um, he explained that Shopify requires you to um, not only have each image loaded separate, but that each line, so if there's six uh, images for part number one, two, three, four, part number one, two, three, four needs to be on there six times with its corresponding image. So I'm going to do a video. I don't know if this is the quickest way. It's the only way I know. Um, I, I don't know why Shopify would make you do that. It just doesn't seem logical and it it just hurts my heart that you have to go through this with all the data but um, short of us building you a new site here's how you take care of yours so the first thing I did I pulled a file now I got rid of everything but the part number and the image because I didn't need anything else on it and um, and I want <clears throat> to make sure my work is clean so first thing I'm gonna do is I did already separate off right based on the uh, separating the multiple values I already separated them into their unique columns and um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap that text so you click and you wrap the text <clears throat> I'm going to do that just so I can sorry I'm choking um, just so I can be clear when I'm done so now I have my text wrapped and now I'm going to insert a column right here and what I want to do is I want to number this column so I'm going to hit the, the equal sign on your keyboard and I'm going to start to type in row and of course once you hit equal it's asking for the because we're going to do a uh, uh, we're going to make a value here and so I double clicked row and it's saying what am, what am I referencing well, I'm referencing a1 and then I'm going to close off with my other parentheses right and um, I got one so what I'm going to do now is copy that formula and I'm going to drag it down I'm going to paste it in so what it did is just go row one two three four five because it was giving a number but that's still a formula and, and it doesn't matter we're doing ten rows here but if you were doing five thousand parts God help you this is what you would be doing too but once I got all my numbers so I knew exactly what they were we're going to need those to sort later um, I would copy that column again and then I would paste special right on top of it so paste special and how I did that is I just kept it highlighted I right clicked paste special values um, but I guess we have to copy it first I'm not sure if I did so let's just make sure it's all copied and then paste special values and so now that's not a formula now that's a, a live number all right so so first thing is we have the initial image and then we have a secondary image and so what you're going to do is you're going to take that secondary image you're going to cut it and put it right below the second image and then you're going to do this and paste that in there and then we're going to do this same thing we're going to cut it out of there paste it right below and then we're going to take the one through nine or however many you have I mean this could get just terribly um, this could get a, a long process on this um, I don't know how else to do this so I'm just trying to to tell you the only way I know how there's probably someone much better that understands this and says Amanda this is ridiculous but I've yet to have that person call me so um, and again I'm gonna just paste that down so I'm gonna leave it at this for a second um, and let's pretend there's only three images so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna filter so we're gonna go back up I copied everything we're going to go to data and we're going to hit filter and then when I filter I can filter by sort this right by smallest to largest 
and so I just did. So now all the ones, and that's why we made that number, right? <clears throat> so all the ones sorted together. Um, and I don't know on Shopify, maybe we didn't even have to do that. Maybe it just um, doesn't need them all going in. Maybe part number one, two, three, four, image one could go in, and then five could go in. I don't know if it has to be done that way. But now um, that we've done that, Hang on, let's unwrap our text. We've got all those images, and again, here's the images for this part number, right? And here's the images for that part number. I, I hope that's what you guys need. I don't know. Once I'm done with that, I would, of course, just delete that first column, and I guess hit import. Um, it seems really time consuming to me, especially if you had a file with several thousand parts with, you know, multiple images on each one of them. But uh, short of me becoming a uh, Shopify uh, specialist, which again, I'm not going to. Uh, Drupal makes it so much easier for us. Um, but I, I hope this helps. Um, if it doesn't, let me know if you guys have a better way of doing this and I'll share that with the rest of the community. All right. Thanks so much. My phone number, by the way, if you want to crap talk my video and tell me how stupid it is, is 719-432-9415. Or again, if you've got a better way, share it, man. Everyone's, everyone seems to be in pain a little bit on uh, these Shopify sites. So, all right. Thanks.